good morning guys uh, today i'll talk about the vba and uh, so there is a program which uh, will write here and it's quite interesting actually very very useful uh, and why i'm writing this why i'm sharing this video today because of the fact that uh, um, somebody uh, said that uh, you know uh, i mean he wrote an email and he said that uh, is there any way in excel that we can actually uh, you know stop uh, uh, stop the action of you know s um, of of any of the shortcut key, which means that if I press let's say uh, F2 is for to edit the you know cell and F12 is to save save as you know that's the option. So if I press uh, F11, F12, or maybe F2, then whatever the action these keys actually does, it cannot be it can be stopped you know, and. Uh, so yes there is a solution and it's quite actually interesting um, i never thought around this way as well because uh, what happens is actually uh, the person who wrote me an email he said that he's quite strong in excel and um, he's very very uh, you know uh, good in using the shortcut keys he doesn't use actually mouse or maybe the keypad of the laptop so what happens uh, when he works uh, actually on a data and his job really requires him to spend you know eight or nine hours uh, on excel so he keeps on working with the shortcut keys but then what happens is that most of the time he presses f11 by mistake and as you know in case if you're not aware f11 is actually used to insert a chart i'll just show you in a moment so what happens is that uh, maybe by you know when he uses the shortcut keys uh, sometime by you know accident he actually uh, presses this F11 and then you know it actually bugs him a lot because of the fact that a chart gets created and then he uh, you know he goes, a uh, goes ahead and uh, deletes the chart and this is how I mean that's a kind of a problem so what he wants, I wants is whenever he presses F11 by mistake unknowingly a chart should not be created so yes we have a very uh, good solution around this and uh, that can be done through coding through VBA so I'm gonna uh, talk uh, about this uh, program how we can make this program but before uh, people who are watching this uh, I just want to tell them that what exactly F11 is suppose this is my now database right and uh, if I am somewhere anywhere you know within uh, this table and if I by mistake or maybe knowingly if I press F11 I'm just going to press 11 I'll just show you a chart will be created right so what he wants is that he wants that whenever he presses F11 because he's working on the shortcut keys uh, you know all the time he keeps on using the shortcut keys and so sometimes you know hand gets slips and uh, you know your fingers can get slipped and uh, maybe by mistake you, in, you can actually press the F11 so the solution is that uh, this chart should not be created let me first delete this chart again so yes uh, we can do it we can freeze this f11 and we can tell excel that for this particular workbook which has a name called pivot as you can see in the title this is not going to work f11 should not work right uh, so in other words a chart should not be created whenever you press f11 knowingly or unknowingly uh, and now I thought a step ahead from this because uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether that's the or the requirement but I assume that this is only for this one workbook what if you are working on the another workbook for example this is the book one obviously um, I believe that you would want that F11 should be activated you know it should be reactivated because what if in case if you want to have the F11 on this sheet you know you want that this action should be applied on the sheet so uh, under that circumstances what actually we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, uh, you know freeze our pivot workbook so that f11 should not be allowed there but at the same time when some another workbook is being opened by a user he should be able to uh, use uh, you know avail the facility of f11 the shortcut key right in case if you want that f11 should not work on any of the workbooks then again that's we have a solution i'll just tell you in a moment and uh, so right now uh, if i press f11 ho over here uh, previously my cell was here on the blank cell that's why you uh, you could you know if you have observed that the blank sheet was created but there was no chart because of the fact that my cell the selected cell was here so you need to put the or this selection somewhere in the middle of the table and now if you will press f11 a chart will be created right so again this is a, again a learning for for those who never knew this option but anyways that's not the agenda 
uh, it's good that you know it's like one plus one free option you are learning the code at the same time you also learned the <laughs> f11 shortcut key so right so uh, guys uh, let's start this code it's a very very simple code and uh, what you exactly you want to do is you need to uh, prepare a you know uh, basically you need to do a planning uh, we'll first use the workbook event now if you ask me what are these events these events are actually automatically triggered you really don't have to uh, you know wait for something to run right for example in if you if you would have watched my uh, other VBA videos or might be 10 12 videos I have uploaded so far uh, you would have seen that we have always created a button and on when we click on the button then only the VBA code runs but in this case it is not going to happen we are going to uh, write these codes in uh, workbook events workbook events means that whenever this workbook gets opened for the first time this code should work whenever this workbook gets deactivated means some another workbook is going to be selected then f11 should be reactivated whenever somebody is going to uh, activate this workbook from some another workbook like in our case it is the book one so if I have selected the book one and I, if I'm just toggling around and if I have just selected again the pivot sheet you know not the pivot sheet pivot workbook then my F11 should be uh, you know it should stop working automatically so that will be done when this workbook will be activated right so let's go to the uh, visual basic mode and uh, let me just quickly write so every code we have the book one here I'm not gonna write anything in the book one because I'm dealing with the pivot workbook so you just go here and write this workbook and I'm going to write here the sub uh, not the sub uh, but we'll write here the workbook event so when this workbook gets opened we'll write a code here and similarly when this workbook gets activated then again we'll write something and again when this workbook will get deactivated then we want that this option should be back on the other workbooks right and uh, so activate deactivate and workbook open and yes when this workbook gets closed then also we want that this f11 option should be back on uh, sorry I before close yeah I was just pressing C so C is not gonna take you on the before close you need to press B okay that's something this is not we require actually so these are the automatic triggers what I am um, just just um, I'll spend 10 seconds on this uh, this means that workbook activate when when this is this workbook which means this pivot workbook is going to be activated the code which we are, are going to write uh, within this it will be working uh, executed and this is workbook before close so when you're going to close this workbook before closing what actually you want that code can be written here workbook deactivate when somebody is going to toggle around and uh, somebody is going to deactivate this workbook by selecting some another workbook in our case it's going to be book one then this event will be fired uh, will be run and the workbook open means so for the first time when this whenever a user will open this workbook then there has to be some code which should be run right so uh, first thing uh, will uh, come here and we'll say that workbook underscore activated so we have the uh, option called application dot on key on key means it, it particularly talks about the key which key you want that should not be working right so I'll say that my f11 should not work so you'll write the key here and you got to put it it within the curly brackets that's very important right uh, do you want any procedure to run uh, you can leave this this is the optional thing you can leave this as a blank this is basically used in case if you want to run some another procedure but that's not the requirement so I'll not discuss about that however you can select this uh, and you can press F1 you can take the Microsoft help on that there are a lot of shortcut keys uh, with, with the help of which you can actually uh, you know uh, write these codes you can learn about this application dot on key method uh, runs a specific procedure when a particular key or key combination is pressed right now we are just working on the F11 but what if you need some combination shift 11 uh, you know or maybe be alt f11 so you have uh, the entire information of this uh, you know uh, you have the these keys and this is how you write in the code so we have the f11 through f15 uh, and uh, this is how you will actually write for f keys f1 through f15 in case if you want to work on the tab key you need to write the tab if you want to work on the up arrow you need to write up and you know actually you can go through it and it's gonna take five or ten minutes uh, ten minutes of study and you will be perfect on that right so this is again a to combine keys with if in case if you are looking to combine any key with the shift key like let's say shift f12 then you need to use the plus sign in case if you are looking to this control key 
the combination let's say the control f12 or maybe control f2 whatever i mean to say then you need to use this caret sign which is also called the raised to power and similarly alt for the percent and they have even given a very good example uh, this is how they have written i'll talk about this application on key they have written plus and then they have written right right so plus you know that it stands for the shift key and the right um, and then uh, thereafter the plus uh, they have written the this you know uh, raised to power the caret sign and this is for the control and the right is again you can check that where we have the right uh, so i think we just saw the right somewhere here uh, right right uh, this is the up arrow left arrow uh, let me just scroll this up and uh, yeah so here we have got the right arrow so for right arrow it is right so what actually this code is doing is this this is creating a combination of three keys that whenever the user is going to press alt shift and the right arrow then what exactly is supposed to happen right so that's how you can uh, study this and uh, this I will just actually shared with you so that you should not be just uh, limited to just this only video you can enhance your further skills right uh, and uh, you can even go for the training VBA training as I provide and uh, we can learn A to Z everything about the VBA is such a fantastic very very powerful language right alright so now that's the one line code and we are not going to do anything um, now uh, apart from that uh, whenever this workbook will open I'm just going to copy this code here as well and whenever this workbook is going to be deactivated so F11 should be working so you are not going to pass any key as a string uh, I mean to say you're not going to pass the procedure the second parameter this one right which we have said that the it has to be null no just leave it as it is so that in the next workbook this F11 should be able to work and here I'm just again going to copy that whenever this workbook gets closed favorite workbook this event f11 should be back right because obviously when you're going to close something you will not be able to work on the workbook but we want that this should be off right so uh, this is the code which we have written here and now let us do one thing let us first check that whether we are able to create the charts or not uh, let me first save this file because we have created a macro so we'll have to change its uh, extension so I'm gonna make this extension as a XLSM do you want to replace yeah I want to replace it not a problem might be some old file okay so now I'm going to press guys F11 right okay so F11 is working right now so there is a some issue with the code let me quickly delete this file and let us check that what exactly we are doing wrong here uh, so uh, workbook activate and uh, open okay so let's first let me put this break code here so that we can see that what exactly is going to happen let me first deactivate this uh, file and see what uh, what exactly is going to happen and then we'll come back to this and this code will be fired right okay so I'm on the workbook as you can see and I can press F11 and this is going to create a chart perfect this I allow this because this now the workbook uh, pivot is deactivated so this should be back now let me come back to my pivot and when I'm selecting this now this workbook is again getting activated let's see what happens in the visual basic window so you can check here that it actually has is ready to fire you know this event is going to work here I have paused it because of the break code but if I would would not have selected this the put it on the break code it would have fired in fraction of seconds now I'm gonna step it step into this and now let's see what will happen so it has actually executed this line so now let me check if I, if I can press the F11 okay so I'm pressing I'm trying to press F11 but as you can see that it is not working right so that's how you can do it and at the same time if I select the book one and if I see that F11 is freezed or not here it is not freezed it it is actually working and I can show you step by step again on this as well uh, let me just quickly go to the workbook pivot and pause the here deactivate right so both the events will work when this workbook will be activated it this event is going to be fired when this workbook is going to be deactivated when I say this workbook I mean 
where this code is written and this code you can see in the title it's pivot the workbook name is pivot right okay so now I'm going to select this another workbook pivot and you know that the activate event will be fired and this is going to run and this is fine so I'm just going to we have already seen this so this is working now let's see this code when this is going to be fired workbook deactivate right so I'm on the pivot the moment I'm going to deactivate this by selecting the another workbook if I go to this then the workbook pivot deactivate should ideally it should be fired let's see so as you can see here now this is ready to work right I'm not hi I have not highlighted this code in the yellow color it is it has al already you know uh, this is it's a auto event right a workbook event so it will automatically fire up depending upon what exactly you're writing in the above and in fact what you are exactly selecting from the drop down you don't have to write anything uh, in these subs the workbook underscore deactivate workbook underscore before close and you know workbook underscore activate these are all the codes which uh, are predefined whatever you write you write within these codes so now let's do this now this will be fired and as you can see here uh, we have said that application on key is going to be f11 so that's why and we have not used this procedure we have not put it here if you are going to put this uh, space on this workbook deactivate then it means that whenever this workbook will be deactivated and whenever you will select any other you know the workbook which is right now open with this um, workbook it is not going to use the f11 option right so I'm going to just remove this and this is how this will be working and now when I you press f11 the chart will be created but at the same time when you will be back on your this pivot and you try to f11 I'm pressing f11 it is not working right so I hope that answers your question and uh, that's my email ID write me in in case if you are looking for some training or maybe you have some questions and uh, guys uh, this is the my 46th video and uh, I actually just wanted to tell you uh, that in the coming time I, I will also be uploading some videos on the MS access database as I have rec rec uh, you know received a lot of requests on the uh, access database so keep watching and uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel in case if you uh, want to share some feedback you want to uh, let me know in case you know uh, you didn't find something uh, exactly you know the way you were actually expecting this video to be or maybe in case if you like the video please do click on the like and share your feedback so that you know i can actually upload the videos uh, in the near future you know accordingly Thank you for your time and uh, thank you so much. Have a very, very wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.